12 sandstorm in the morning coming in. And 40 C1 here for Blue launches themselves off of level two of the platform. Takes a little bit of a tumble on their way down. But they're going to pick up a whopping nine of the 18 Alliance points all by themselves for jumping off of the level two platform there. And they dropped off three points of cargo. It's not showing up on your live score yet, but it'll get there. 26 points to red right now. They do have a slight advantage. Blue Alliance is catching up real fast. The race is some of the best teams in the Northwest here. Let's see what, ooh, 4061 finds a new parking place for cargo on top of the ship. Unfortunately, due to the lack of gravity in space, that'll launch its way on off when we launch the ship back towards planet Earth. Little over a minute and a half left to play here in this qualification match. Red Alliance pulling their lead ahead here. Jack and the bot just ironing in or dialing in those cycle times. One hatch after another and another and another. They started with a bunch of cargo in their cargo ship rather than necessarily hatch panels. Maximizing the score opportunity. Those hatch panels that are pre-installed before the match can't count for score. But if you put the hatch panels in during the match, you pick up two points per. Just maximizing the possible score here in deep space. Minute, 10 seconds left to play. Red Alliance pulling ahead now by 19. Jack and the Bot just spilling in points, one after another after another. Their Alliance partners are no slouches either. They're in the back in the top left there. That's IRS and K9 Crusaders building that rocket. We've seen both of those teams building rockets all day today. And now we'll get to see if they're going to fill those rockets rather than just seal up all the hatch panel positions. Still a whopping 45 seconds left to play, and your live score is showing a score almost as high as the highest score of the event. Highest score of the event is like 74 or so, and we're already to 71 before we go climb. We'll save you the whole seat, but you only need the edge of it. I guess it was free anyway, whatever. Blue Alliance going up there for a 12-point level 3 climb. Metal Mallards, they didn't need any help this time. They just pushed themselves all the way up for 12. Let's see what the Red Alliance's answer to that will be. Jack and the Bot has done a lot of these so far this weekend. And they're going to drop their cargo on the floor and go for it with eight seconds left. Leg goes up. They jump up. Spring, if you will. Three seconds left. Blue Alliance with two level ones for six more points added on. That's 18 points and a ranking point there for your Blue Alliance teams. Red Alliance will pick up their ranking point as well. IRS at the last minute picking up a level one climb to get them to that 15-point threshold. I would say there's a new high score coming. It'll come at you in a few minutes. Oh, just kidding, it comes now, Red Alliance picking up the victory there. Massive 91 points in that match to the Blue Alliance's 54. Both alliances walking out of here with the rank point. Four habitat climbs, and the Red Alliance taking in two more for winning the match there. That's going to put Jack in the bot in fourth. Not too far behind them. IRS in our top eight there. And just on the outside looking in. K9 Crusaders chilling in ninth. We'll be back with qualification match 13 in just a few moments.